Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I am Alenviel, and welcome back to another episode of Neko Para Volume 3. Last episode... Uh, yeah, um, that was with Maple, where we tried to talk with her, but it didn't work, and now Cinnamon is a bit down. Now Cinnamon is sighing, yep. The camera angle is a bit too high, but we want to keep the importance on the face, not on other specifics. What's wrong? I never hear you sigh. Whoa, what? It was a mode for cuteness. <laughs> because that truly really, what a terrible excuse, girl. Come on. You think I'm going to buy gonna buy that? Of course you're gonna buy that, bitch. That's their face. You're gonna buy that. <laughs> it's never pointless, girl. Oh, now she's saying again. Another sigh. That one was even deeper. It was. The two of us both take another sip of our tea. Cinnamon glances at me, head slightly low. Oh, she's not been well. Oh, damn it. Takes another small sip. Ever since we went to the amusement park, right? Oh. Yeah, but we have to delete something beforehand. My computer? Well, actually, it doesn't have to delete anything because mostly the girls are on that ride. Def Definitely navigates to a web page and then turns the laptop towards me. I'm looking, but not at the laptop, girl. Sorry. Um, yeah. This is. Displayed on the screen is. A video of Maple singing on the stage. This is from the other day, isn't it? I, I find it so amazing. We're not looking at the web page, but we're looking at Cinnamon. And yeah. Okay. Oh, were the co was the comment section that bad? Oh, scroll down so I can see the comments. That cat girl is cute. I didn't know there was such a cute cat girl around. Wow, this cat girl is so good at singing. The comment section was filled with variation of the thing. What is all this? It looks like she's gotten pretty popular. And that's what bothers her, right? Wow. Cinnamon takes a deep breath before continuing. She's not just a cat girl. She's a cute singing cat girl. That's not just a cat girl. And she's damn good at singing, god damn it. She furrows her brow in frustration. So she's worried about being seen as just a cat girl, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would make sense, yeah. That question makes sense now. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Mepo's words echo in my mind. Oh, okay. It has? Her mouth. She nods, her mouth contorting in a pained smile. Oh. But then something happened. <gasps> yeah, that old video. Video that I've watched. Back at the amusement park, yeah. And not to cinema. But they were. To refer to her as Cat Girl. Wow. All because of the world cat. God damn it! Let the Cat Girl alone! Even if they have good things to say, they still call her Cat Girl. Even if they meet, say, have mean things to say, they still call her cat girl. She said she wanted to be a singer. Definitely be a shock for the young maple in that video. 
She was proud by nature, so it's not hard to imagine. She, so that's why she stopped singing, probably, huh? But it's so cute that Cinnamon cares so much. And whatever you ask what's wrong, she just answers the question, right? Oh yeah! You got you starting to understand girls, Kasha. Damn it, man. That's what's been going on. Looks like this video has been circulating a lot since it's up, it was uploaded. A lot of people have left comments on it. it. Seems to have an endless parade of comments like the one Cinnamon showed me. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, I get it. You didn't hurt her. She hangs her head and turns her eyes away from me. She breathes out a long sigh. Oh, God damn it, girl! Don't feel feel wrong for helping your friend! God damn it! In response, I gently bop on her head. You really do like Maple, don't you, Cinnamon? You're more like best friends than sisters. Yeah. What? She looks up with me with a wide eye expression. You're, you are sister, but your relationship isn't like coconuts and azukis. Not like chocolate and, and vanilles either. I guess you could say you two are on equal ground with each other. You're like two friends who really get along. They're not like Coconut and Azuki, where one's clearly the older sister and the other is the younger one. They don't cling to each other like Chocola and Vanilla do. But I do remember Maple always seeming troubled. Always trying to help out somehow. Yeah, that's how she is. Worrying about whether the results of her actions would be good or bad. It seems like the kind of relationship that only close friends have. That's what I meant. Oh, you look... Cute. Or are we more? Yep, yeah, you're cute. She furrows her brow again and smiles at me, but her smile seems a little ashamed. I give her another gentle pat on the head. Pat the cat girl, dude. Pat the cat girl. I'm worried about Maple too. I'm gonna see if I can get any clues from her. I'm not much of a negotiator. Those, so I don't know how much success I'll have. Ooh, if it's you, something will work. Whoa. No, no, of course it is. God damn it. Sure, I'm going to try to talk to her a little too. I know to her. Maple and Cinnamon are both part of my family. I want to do everything I can to help them. That's the honest truth. And further my harem of cat curls. Um, what, 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 what happened to them? But, okay. Wait, what? <laughs> she fidges, embarrassed. I don't mind, but why? <laughs> what I, <laughs> she's looking for porn. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> it's it's not anything weird. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't look up at home. Bring it home. <laughs> yep, it's porn. It's porn. Uh, yep, yeah, she wants to look at porn. No, not strange at all. Intellectual curious curiosity. Yeah, girl, no. No. Do that at your own house. <laughs> I take my laptop away from the panty. Cinnamon. Ah, the porn. Oh, God damn it. Why do you think we don't believe? Wait, what? Yeah, and 
what was it you were planning on enjoying? <laughs> this girl is constantly horny, huh? You really don't break character, do you? <laughs> With the sparkling in the background! <laughs> And I was just coming to think of her and you're like, nope! Well, I guess that what the announcer meant. She is, as usual, a slightly bothered looking cat girl. That's sparkling in the background. Because I went to the toys with. Yeah, um. Girl, no. No! So, what do you think? Although, for once, I used the kind of tea leaf we usually don't have. Ooh, it turned out perfect. Nice. Okay. Maybe she rugs and waves her hand dismissively. Ooh. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> Lost our way. Don't lose your way. Okay. I didn't know what kind of plans you had after this, so there's a place nearby I could figure out we could poke our heads into. Oh, that's what we're getting at. Yeah. There's some that's sold by this new tea shop. I leave closing the store to the others while my secretary of tea and I walk home. Oh, she's got a title. Secretary of tea. I steal a glance at Maple as we saw, walk side by side. Maple seems no different from usual. Though I can't say whether usual is downcast or just cold. She's doing her work, but I can't tell she's not putting a ton of effort because she's a cat girl ouch I remember what cinnamon told me earlier this evening take another glance at maple's face I want to see your smile I want to protect it no not really I'm just wondering uh-huh turns I had enough to look at me out of the corner of her eye Oh, no, it's nothing in particular, just an attempt to lie gets caught in my throat midway. And now I'm not sure what to say. I look away from Mayfo, who seems upset, and turn my gaze towards the night sky. Um, way the sky! Um, my bad. Yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what are you agreeing with? Yep. Yeah. No, it's just because I'm not that great at catching small details. I wonder if we can just ask it straight. <laughs> she stares at me, head cocked suspiciously. I turn my head back to her and meet her gaze. You know that video from when you were a kitten and when you said you wanted to be a singer? Why was that? <laughs> of course, we want to ask that. She idly runs a hand through her hair and lets out an exaggerated sigh. Mifo's probably guessed what I really want to ask about by now. <laughs> nice evasion! Nope. What kind of person do you take me for? Yes! Horny pastry puffer! Whoa! <laughs> He does. Well, that's... He's not wrong, though. So I just uh, I'm not making it work because I want to start a love affair, though. I've got enough common sense to know that. With four <laughs> cat panions, I'm not really convincing anyone. <laughs> nice. I turn my gaze and look up to her. Yeah. Yeah. She gets to me with mystish eyes and a smile. Is she the one who's unhappy? I hear a grunt before looking up to the sky. Yep, we did. 
Kittenhood dreams. Nice way to work that through. Her tone was wistful. Her answer is blunt and unaffected. But you still think about it now, don't you? Huh? Well, we gotcha! We gotcha! We gotcha, girl! We gotcha! Her expression stiffens, but she quickly relaxes when she speaks again. It is in that same aloof tune. Nah. How the world really works? Wow. No, it's not actually, girl. No, it's not. Maple. He comments on the video as so, because she's a cat girl. I can see one word weighing down on Maple. Everything she said just now seems so hollow. I'm not sure she believes it herself. If that's true, why did she get so good at singing? I stop in my tracks and hurl the question out. Take this! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha Gotcha! Gotcha! <laughs> she turns to me, seeing her eyes widen. I continue without him. There's no way you could get that good without practicing. Yes! Her brows furrow with unease. She casts her gaze downward. The casual air that surrounded her while we were side by side was nowhere to be found. The bottom of the fuse of his wringing her pale, slender hand. I take a step toward her, pat her slumped head. People who eat my cake. I'm always so happy to see their smiles. Oh, now he's trying to convince her with that way. She raises her head. Yeah, she does. What you asked me before. That's why I wanted to become a patissier. Yeah, now we're hitting true. Talking about myself is a little embarrassing. A reluctant smile drifts on to my face and I continue. Ever since I was little, dad told me that I would be studying to make Japanese sweets. I never considered that I had any other choice, so I did as you said and studied how to make Japanese sweets. Yeah, doesn't say anything else. Maple stares at me, waiting for me to continue. Since my family has some ancient tradition, my upbringing was pretty strict. Playing with friends, club activities, hobbies, I had to forgo all of them for the sake of studying the family trait. I find it kind of weird that we'd have no music now. Well, not that I regret all that. Even after all this time, I still don't. I can't make the bitter smile on my face go away. Maple's eyes are wide and bright as the moon at this point but I keep going. But one day, I went to a patissier by myself. Everyone there looked so happy eating their cake. Everyone, even those who might be austere or sad otherwise. Every single customer had a smile on his or her face. Yeah, that's a good place then. I recall the memories of that visit. I give voice to even the part that I had locked away in my heart before I was completely focused on my family's trade and saw nothing else. Then someone asked me, why is it that you're making these sweets? Back then I didn't know what I had been doing up until that point. I struggled with it, but I decided I want to be like that person. I want to make something that could have put, put a smile on anyone's face when they ate it. Oh, that's a nice way. Enough that I was willing to give up that I, all I had worked hard so hard and so long for. Raised some pressure hard as I watch her ears turn toward me, take in every word. So I give voice to the, every last sentiment. My dad, as well as others around me, said very harsh, many harsh things to me. But I knew I had to be true to myself. I decided to turn toward my own dream, no matter what those around me thought. Yep. That's how he went, how he became the perverted pastry puffer. Or was it honey? Anyway, you know what I mean. I caused a lot of trouble for Shiguro and our mom. I did some incredibly dumb things. Maybe there could have been a brighter future for me along the line, but right now I'm happy. This time my smile isn't bitter or reluctant. This time I show Maple's one is true. Before I know it, Maple's fingers, which had Collapse together tightly and loosens. Of course he is. He is really stupid. But I like him. Yay! Still, though, I thought my dream was stupid. I wouldn't have fallen. <laughs> we let out check. Put my hand on Maple's head one more time. That's why I plan to listen to what others have to say. That's why I couldn't just leave you alone, Maple. Oh, he hit her with the honest truth. 
Yes! No, you're not. Die completely devoid of mischievousness, I saw earlier. With renewed vigor, she straightens up, standing in her closet. <laughs> yes, he does! <laughs> I couldn't stop it. Stop if I wanted to. Yeah, he couldn't. He couldn't. Everything that just happened seemed like it took place in a dream. Maple laughs and sounding more relaxed than usual. Okay. Okay. Good. It sounds like she's trying to convince herself on that. I nod to her in agreement. She raises her head and replies with a small nod of her. Oh, that was perfect. And we're going to stop right here. So thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Or even comment if you want to. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.